I just left the Caribbean and now I'm in the Caribbean capital of Europe. This is Brixton, Southern London. Today I'm going to be exploring Jamaican, Trini, they got Guyanese here, so many different communities from all over the world. And today I have my boy Josh who is Jamaican Colombian. My man. How are you guys? Very good. And you were born in London? Born in London, born and raised. Yeah, right here? Well, of course. Incredible. So as much as I didn't grow up in Jamaica, I'm more Jamaican than North Jamaican, so. Yeah, I'm ready to go show you guys what it is. What do you guys want to see first? Jamaican, Trini? What's the biggest population? I guess Jamaican first. Yeah. Let's do Jamaican. Jamaican for sure. And wh what spots do we have around here? As in, everywhere's a spot. So everywhere's we'll a spot. And we'll find people. Oh, okay, perfect. Like I said, this one done will make like patties or one Jamaican thing just really good. So everyone will go there. And it's like the people, same people will be going there for like 30, 40 years. And then it's just the vibes as well. As you go to see your friends, you chill here, even though it's cold. Right now, it's ridiculous. Bless, how you doing? Everything good? You from Jamaica? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Where? Clarendon. Clarendon? Yeah. Where's Clarendon? Mayfair. Okay, I don't know where Paris that is. Huh? Mayfair, Mayfair. Mayfair. M A Y P E N. Mayfair. Where is that? Mayfair. No, you go to, you go Kingston. Then you go Spanish Town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you go Whole Lava. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you go like Sand Bay, you know, to the Richie Mayfair Town. That's the center in Jamaica. Cool stuff. We're gonna get demonetized though. We got Bob playing in the background. We gotta get out of here. But it's like a mini market. Is that Trini flag? Is Trini flag? You got CMOS? Yeah, I got CMOS. CMOS right there. See the CMOS here. Sour and ginger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sour and ginger. June plum. CMOS. Oh, CMOS. Big, big. Let me try this. Oh, CMOS is good. It's like a jelly. This is life. Got the ginger and the ginger and the sorrel thing as well. Oh my gosh. Proper nice. G ginger? Yeah, I got ginger in it too. It's like a it's sweet though. Spice. Look right there. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a it's like a jello. Oh, that's nice, man. That's a paw. Oh, bringing that fast with this. Like oh, it's straight back to Jamaica. In Kingston, it's a super hot day. You take this down, but here in the cold? Yeah. In London, Brixton. So, what do you think? Where's the best jerk? Well, the best jerk, you got Jeff. You got um, One Love. You so got One right Stop, CD Leroy, One Stop. My name is Colin. Colin. Yeah. Colin. But my working name is Leroy. Leroy. CD Leroy. CD Leroy say, Peace, One Love. Unification, togetherness, in Jehovah's name, in Brixton, no war. So, a question, how long have you been here in Brixton? I've been in Brixton 22 years. And how have you seen it change over these 22 years? Well, so far, a lot of changing for people who are wealthy more than people who don't got it like that because people who don't have it like that, who don't have shops and stuff, you know, it's like, hardly recognized but foundation I don't care my limit I stay on my limit you know I stay on my size because my size is grassroots you know and I like grassroots so Jamaica became independent from Great Britain uh, in the 60s right? 62 62 yeah. huge connection here and that's why it's the Jamaican community the biggest Caribbean community in Great Britain in, in London in London in anywhere you go in England. Uh, exactly, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so I guess we'll try this guy. Let's see. Let's I'm see. coming to you. I'm coming to you. Your name's Anthony? Yeah, my Anthony, the owner of the One Love Cafe. We're here on Brixton Station Road. And where are you from? All right, we're Jamaican. But what parish in Jamaica? Uh, we're from Kingston, East Kingston oh. to the world. Oh, yeah? Yeah, man, Rockford. I would have said Josie Beef. See it? See it, yeah? Josie Beef. There it is. Oh, wow. Yeah, no joke. Josie Beef. What? Beef. No, you have? Yeah. You have? Wow. Yeah, yeah. I'm having a patty right yeah. now. That's it. We're going with two. a beef. Two, two yeah. patties. Beef. Two, you have juicy, cheesy beef, or what do you have? Just beef, vegetable, and chicken. What are you making there? Um, aki and saltfish. So Woo! we have the saltfish prepared. Aki. We're going to put in the aki now. Yeah? And knock it up. You can do it right in front of your face. You can take out the jerk chicken, because the jerk chicken is supposed to be ready now. Oh my gosh. Oh, we're going to try this right here? Oh, perfect. Yeah, man, perfect. Alright, this is a liquid gold go boy, yeah? Yeah man, liquid gold, Sierra Leone. Come on, dive in man. Try it, fresh food. This is gonna be good. Oh my god, it's crazy. The juices. Look at this. Pull this out. 
Th th this is the good part. Yeah, that's you know, the, the meat is so juicy. Oh, it's, yeah, it's a lot. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You know we'll season it for like a day. Mm -hmm. They'll season it and leave it to marinate. I was in uh, South Amsterdam yeah. recently and it's like this, this vibe. Oh, mad. Yeah. Yeah, especially with this part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same type of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same type of like uh, walking, open air, a few different markets, all these different nationalities, so many different languages too. One thing you have to know about Brixton, come here Saturday, not on Sunday. We're going to come tomorrow. We changed the plans because they said tomorrow it's dead. Everybody's home with their families. So come on Saturday if you want to do it right. All right, so we're getting some juicies patties. As you know, I love juicies patties. Tasties, juicies, mothers. He has juicies. That's incredible. What is juicies? Oh, it's a patties place. Oh, that, that's patties what they specialize the in. Yeah, yeah. So they have the beef, chicken, and he has vegetarian. We're going with beef. Perfect. Here we go. Nice patty. Woo! That's it. That's Jamaica right here. Street food, Jamaica style. Flaky, patty, beef. Oh, then this one. Look at that. Oh, it's like steak. Beautiful minced meat. Has no sauce, though. there's no cheese in this one. Just pure patty, nice spices. Steaming. Steaming. So, hey, how do you get these? You bring them in? Oh, from, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? yeah? I bring them all back. You bring them over, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they come frozen. Yeah. yeah. then you just bake them. That's it. Yeah, there's something about a good juicy Amer uh, um, like a. Yes, it is. It's a, it has a different taste from the it, it, it does. It does. Yeah, but the original thing. Mm. The flakiness level is outstanding, bro. Yeah, Love how flaky it is. Look at that golden brown. And you and then they don't skip out with the meat. It's a good layer of meat there. It's literally Jamaica in London. You want sauce? I didn't know you got the small ones. That's how I travel. It's easier. What's your story? How long you been in, in here in London? Um, well, I've been in London now about 15 years. 15 years? Yeah. yeah. I'm a teacher, you know. I teach in the week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I teach at New City College. And, it, and, and on Saturdays, I do this. This is my business still. I started from in the arches when I sublet. I sublet from um, the person that rent the arches. And when the redevelopment of the place, they kick us out. So I lost out and thing. I just went into the, um, the teaching. And I'm doing that now for a couple years. And how has uh, Brixton changed? Uh, Brixton's changed massive, man. Massive for persons who was here before and know, know the place. Yeah, we have a big up St. Anto. St. Anto, our place. Yeah? Priory, CLM, Runner Bay. Yeah, man. St. Anto's Bay, Ocherios. Yeah, and our place. Mad thing. Portmore. Portmore. Down the Fort Portmore. Camelus Garden. My place. My garrison. Love. My man, thank you so ah, much. Love, man, yeah? One big love. Up, man. Yeah, man, big up the man there, yeah? Spice up, them spice up. Spice up, love. What's your name? Evelyn. Evelyn? Yeah. And where are you from? Nigerian. Nigerian? No, oh, we're trying to go to Lagos now in January. I'm looking for some fufu. Really? What about that Jolaf right Yeah, Jolaf right Yeah, Jolaf. Yeah, yeah. What did we just say? <laughs> Jolaf rice is the best. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Mmm. It's a bake. Where are we going? With me? Oh, look, look. Let's like some good ga Gambian food. Yes, Senegambia. Yeah. Senegal and Gambia. Yeah, yeah, of course. So if you guys don't know, Gambia is a tiny strip. It's the Gambian River in between Senegal. I haven't been yet. I'm still trying to go. It's West Africa. So I'm gonna go in here. Man, I'm dying to go to the Gambia. The Gambia looks like a great place. Yeah, it's a nice place to go, man. So what's your name? Ibrahima. Ibrahima? Ibrahima. Ibrahima? Yeah, Ibrahima. And how long have you been in uh, London? 19 years now. 19 years? Yeah, wow, huge Gambian community here in Brixton. I mean, it's uh, not that big, but I mean, Gambia is a small country. Yeah, so, well, I mean, yeah. Senegal too, you know? Yeah. Like, but I mean, there's, I think there's more Senegalese in Brixton than Gambians, but it's the same people. And food-wise, what do you guys do? Um, 
I mean, we do this food I'm doing, the jollof. They call it jollof in Jollof, England. yeah, yeah. But so, I, mean, I mean, I went to Ghana, jollof rice is big there, Nigeria as well. So it's a big like competition here in the West, no, West Africa. No, we don't compete. No, you don't compete? Nigeria I don't know. Yeah, yeah, they, they market it differently. They're, they're, they're working for us. Oh, <laughs> Nigeria, we're having problems here. Nigeria, Ghana, they're just working for us. I mean, we, we invent this shit, so yeah. It's different. Do you guys also have fufu? I no. mean, we copy fufu from them. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. So I'll right. accept that, yeah. yeah, yeah. But jollof is ours. You want some jollof? Yeah, it's called jollof house. Jollof house kitchen, yes. You want jollof with chicken, you want jollof with steak, with fish. What's the most traditional way? Fish. Fish? Yeah. Let's go with fish. What's the secret to jollof rice? Um, it's the spices, like the seasoning, how, depends on how you season, you know. I mean, every place you go, they kind of cook it their own way. I mean, we cook it different, I think. And you've been here 19 years in Brixton? Not in Brixton, in London. In London? Yeah. And how I'm long? From, I'm, I used to live in Peckham, so I've been in Brixton for like eight years now. And how has it changed in these eight years? I mean, there's a lot of change, you know. And with Brexit, uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, a lot of people going home and all that. Uh, different people still coming, you know. Yeah. Brixton is nice, it's like very diverse, I think. So it's a nice place. Yeah, I saw it's Jamaican, it's Trini. There yeah, there's African, there's a big African community in Brixton, really. I mean, there's a Caribbean community, but like, there's a very huge African community, like, it's Africans and all that. Ethiopians, there's a big community. Yeah, yeah Ethiopia, I saw another Ethiopian place outside. There's a big Ethiopian community. I haven't been in Ethiopia yet, but I need to go. Oh, so what's that? This? Spice? In Gambia, we call this bisab. Bisab? Bisab. It's a tamarind and spinach dip. And this is a spinach and okra dip, actually, sorry. And this is tamarind. We call it dahar. Dahar? Yeah. Oh, it looks like a nice chutney. Look at that jollof rice. Nice. Some carrots and cabbage. Some cabbage. Thank you. I can't wait to eat this, bro. Chili sauce for you? Chili sauce. Chili sauce. This guy's speaking my language. Well, it's jollof rice with this fish. So what fish was this? Sea bass. Oh, sea bass. That does look really good, actually. This is fire. This is Gambian yeah. food, bro. I think this might be my first time trying Gambian food, by the way. I don't think I've ever been to a Gambian restaurant. So we just posted up here on the top of this place. So it's called Brixton what? Um, Pop Brixton, this place. Pop Brixton. Yeah. So they have like 20 different little vendors. So many, so many. And it's probably one of the most diverse places because obviously Brixton is run by Jamaicans. So it's one of the few safe havens away from like Jamaican cuisine, but they still have like Trini. They have Guyanese, some I'm not sure it's open today. The Gambian, Ethiopian, they're Ethiopian, also, yeah. I saw Thai right there. Yeah, exactly. Oh, this is like real spicy pepper right here. Bro, how much spice do you eat in a day? Me? Yeah. Oh, dude, this is amazing with the rice. Wow. Rice is mad. Oh, this rice, rice is, is like, it's, it's, it's mad delicious. FYI, Gambia has the best jollof rice. It literally got really? voted the best jollof rice in Africa. What is in here? It's amazing. <laughs> no, I don't know what's in here. It's so unique. So let me ask you, what is Windrush? Windrush is basically when there was an influx of Caribbean immigrants, just like seven years after the Second World War. And so obviously they needed, there was a huge need and demand for like manual labor. So all the old colonies of um, England, they just told everyone, come here. Because they actually had British passports. So my grandma never had a Jamaican passport. She always had this like British citizen kind of passport. So now just come to England, work. And so obviously everyone's like, let's go to England, better lifestyle. And so the influx of like Caribbean, specifically Jamaican, um, St. Vincent, St. Lucia. Where do you come from? Jamaica. Have you brought your children with you? Yes. How many? Five children. As in, right now you're seeing different colors or whatever, but at one point you would have just seen just Jamaicans. It's incredible. How do Jamaicans feel about King Charles? Normally, most Jamaicans are very apathetic. They don't really feel anything towards the... It's almost like it's a completely different entity. We don't care. Yeah. But then there's some like, I describe them as indoctrinated Jamaicans. They were like, they would die for the queen. Quite like, oh, I love the queen. Da -da -da. Because again, like they were two. From when they were kids, they went to school singing songs about the Queen and yeah, random course, stuff like this. Of course. So, yeah, of course. Yeah, she was on the Jamaican divide. dollar. Yeah, exactly. So we have doubles, we have pilori, we have saltfish and acra. We got chicken wings as well, jumbo pepper prawns. Those look amazing. But I think I'm going doubles. That's all I want here is the doubles. And so do you have some shadow benny, some pepper? Yeah, we have shadow benny. We have all of the sauces are homemade. So we have shadow benny sauce, homemade. 
pepper sauce homemade. We have tamarind chutney homemade. A trini garlic mayo sauce. Woo! Homemade. Niceness over here. So, this is the secret right here, the Shadow Benny. This is a secret in Trini Doubles. Tamarind, nice sweetness. So you made those bars this morning? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything is made fresh every day. It's made fresh every day. And what do you have there? That's a cucumber. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna put some pepper, homemade pepper sauce. Tamarind. Shadow Benny sauce. There you go. Wow. Best doubles in London. That's right. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> what are you doing to me? <laughs> this takes me straight back to Chef Jason Peru when I dove into Trini Doubles. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Navarra. Nice and Trinidad doughy. In your mouth? Dude, it is Trinidad in your mouth. <laughs> the reason why Trini Doubles is so unique is because it's the only country in the world that it took that chole batoa, that northern Indian bread with the chickpeas and made their own variation, which is Trini Doubles. It's street food. It's everywhere in Trinidad. That's it's right. always doubles. Barra, you can have a triples. So it's barra, that's the bread. They fry it really quick, flash fry, pull it out, let it sit in a cooler. The guys go out to the streets and sell it, then they add three things. So it's always pepper, always shadow bending, which is culantro, and uh, tamarind chutney for the sweetness. Oh. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Janelle. Janelle? Oh God, no way. No, 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 no. You look good. You look good. good. And where are you from in Trinidad? You from Port of Spain? Oh, I'm a, I'm a represent. I'm from Sawa. We say Sawa, but it's spelled San. It's pronounced San Juan. But when you're a real sour night, you say sour. Sour. So it's sour. Where are you from? Sour. Sour. Representing for sour. <laughs> and how long have you been here in England? Been in London from 2006. Oh, wow. I moved back home and then I moved back to London. And I've made it my home for now. <laughs> and are there a lot of Trinis here? Because I, I didn't see that in the population. I saw there's a lot of Jamaicans, obviously anywhere that's ex-British. Uh, yeah. There, there are, no, I don't think that there's a lot of Trinidad, Trimbegonians here in the UK, but there is a lot of um, St. Lucian and Dominican and Bajans and Grenadans and Vincentian. There's a lot of them, which is Eastern Caribbean. Thank you. The best doubles in London. Mm. It's a, it's a that for that sorrel flour, fantastic. This in Trinidad and Guyana. Yeah, it's like a like a champagne, champagne of flowers. It's literally I just stepped into like Kingston Market, you know, Kingston Market. We got some sea moss. What else we got here? What I know about Kingston Market? I've been. I've been, I've been. We were just in Montego Bay You're like we, Yeah. You like it? Love it, love it. This market, this is the beginning of Brixton right here. Yes. And you have it we're gone right all the way up. Are you from Kingston? I'm from Clarendon. 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 Central Jamaica. Awesome. We were just in Nine Mile. We went to Bob's uh, two weeks Bob ago. Bob Marley. Bob Marley's oh. yeah, Bob Marley's mausoleum. And right there we got the Rasta flag. Yeah. So Rasta flag, the Ethiopian king. And so this market, this is the beginning of Brixton right here. Yes. And you have it. We're going right all the way up. Okay, perfect. All right. We'll go. Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. And, and they, you. And they got Black Panther, guys. Rest in power. King. Wakanda forever. And this is Brixton Village. This is where we enter. So they have uh, watches, fruits, vegetables. This is like a incredible supermarket. How you doing? Singalese. They got some dragon fruit. Dragon fruit, papaya, I have no idea which fruit that is. It looks like a cousin of the dragon fruit, something similar. Love the flag. And over there we have a Kumasi market, so a Ghanaian market. Ghanaian, and then obviously Jamaican here. And now they call everything Latino and Caribbean. Everything Latino? Look at this, it's cassava for, for life here. <laughs> Chusu, the size. 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 Chusu
，哪一个？这个，或者是豆腐。好好好,好，谢谢。什么意思？你们是香港人吗？哦、oh, ，你们是哪里人？啊？马来西亚，马来西亚。哦。马来西亚吗 ？No, no. 没事没事，没事没事。没事<笑> I don't know, dude. I hear Malaysia, Malaysia. <laughs> I am a beer snob, and I found some craft beer in London. My English ales. This is actually a wheat beer. Oh my gosh, that is tangy. Mmm, super thick wheat. <sighs> with this weather, maybe it wasn't the best idea to go with a really cold beer in a really cold day. It's really good. It's quite banana. It's bananas. That's why I was like, I was like, what is this taste? So there's so many different accents here in London. Well, just in England in general. But I always do the one where it's like very posh. I'm trying to like speak like weird. Yeah, I actually do the the Queen accent, which maybe 0.2% of the population yeah, speak yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. There's no way. It's like tight. <laughs> it's so tight. Hello. How are you guys? It's nice and warm in here. I'm staying by the fire. I'm staying over here. You right over here? Yeah, yeah, it's all good. So what's your name? It's May, as in the month of May. May? Yeah. And where are you from? I'm from Trinidad and yeah. Tobago. Yes. So are you a Trini or are you a Tobago? Trini. You're a Trini, okay. The real, the real thing. And Port of Spain? No, it's San Fernando. San Fernando, even better. San Fernando, yeah. good stuff at the cross. The crossing? Yes, yes. I went yes. there, we had some amazing food there. What's your name? David. Oh, David. From David's been here. Oh, David's been here. So okay. I've been I've been here now in your kitchen. Okay, good, good. Oh, well, good, good. look over here. He's making a little roti. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, man, this is amazing. After being out there in the freezing weather, I'm like... You're like in heaven now. Uh, yeah, my hands are dead. Like, I don't even... <laughs> Curry chicken. Curry what we specialize in in Trinidad and roti. Uh, <laughs> this is the owner, it just turns out. Are so you a Trini? That's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, Are you yeah, yeah. a Trini? I am a Trini, yeah. yeah Born and bred, 100%. Yeah, from Port of Spain? From Port of Spain, yeah, of course, yeah. Oh, amazing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what's your story? How'd you get here? So I, I grew up in uh, Trinidad as a boy. Went to DC, went to school in DC. Came to London after, set up fish wings and things. We've been running now for 13 years. Um, we've got another restaurant at the back, which is a more tapas Caribbean called Dan Clay's Kitchen. Oh, that's you as well. And we're about to open up this one here. It's called Veg and Things, pure veg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, how many years you've been in Brixton? I've been here about 20 years now altogether, from from DC. And how has it, everything changed since Brexit? Uh, things have changed a lot. I mean, the prices have gone up a lot, but uh, I mean, the owners you know, of Brixton Market changed as well. Right? Yeah, the owners of, market, of the market have changed, but they're doing a fantastic job. The owner is actually from Texas. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and he did a fantastic job. They're doing a lot of a uh, um, upgrade for the market, you know. But uh, it, all in all, Brixton Market is a place for food. You come here, you get you know some of the best street food in in, uh, in London, um, and you know that's all. You know we are part of that uh, that development, you know. So you want to try one of this? This is our speciality. No, it's not polori. It's codfish fritters. So it's fish fritter? Yeah, codfish fritters. Codfish fritter. With a soft. Yeah, yeah, we eat it with this sauce. So oh, you with have this to, sauce. You have to try it with this. What sauce is this? Like it's oily sauce, a ginger and lime, mm. mayonnaise. So it goes with a fried like this. Okay? Mm. The ginger and lime. Yeah. Okay. Amazing. I love how soft this codfish is. Codfish fritter. Just soak up all that sauce. Wow. Incredible. We need to do cod right. Huh? Is good? We don't use um, powdered seasoning. Nothing like that whatsoever. What we use is fresh seasoning and you can smell that. Oh, let see. Yeah, that's fresh. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Have a good one. You too. Merry Christmas. You too. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you for this. It's I great. I appreciate that, man. I mean, I, I, go check out my other restaurant, Dan Claire's Kitchen. Dan Claire's Kitchen? Dan Claire's Kitchen. Dan Claire's. This is my last name here. Yeah. Dan Claire. All right. I'm a Belmont boy. Remember that. From Trinidad. Pepper roti. Pepper roti. All right. All right. Thank, Thank, you, bro, yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm struggling too, dude. Look at me. I'm the, the Miami guy here. <laughs> it's too much. Yeah, this is like where every single Jamaican comes. Because it's 24 hours, late night out. Yeah, 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 late night out, 
there's nowhere open where you can always rely on refill. I'm gonna get a bit of attitude from the star, but you're gonna feel like you're in Jamaica. Here's the thing. This guy, this guy. It's too good. It's too good. Oh, this feels like a patty shop. We got curry go and we have a festival. Yeah. Okay, we'll do that. Cold, man. I'm good. See what I'm saying? Asia, you don't have these luxuries. That's Spanish water. Yeah. You got Spanish water. Yeah, it's Spanish water. We do everything. This is refill. We do everything. Chicken soup. The aki. And aki. Yeah, and we have cabbage. We have gunga rice and beans. How long have you been here? Yeah, working here? Yeah, well, in uh, Great Britain. How long have you been in Great Britain? About 23 years. 22 years? 23. Wow. It's changed a lot in these 23 years? Yeah. In Jamaica, everybody will say Aki and Sawfish. So yeah. Everybody will always say it. Because they have it free. Yeah, yeah. They can get it free. We have to buy it. It's like veggie rice. This one is jerk pasta. This one is jollof rice. Yeah, this is salmon rice. Fantastic. Yeah. It's good stuff, good stuff. What's your name? Del. Del? Yes. And where are you from in Jamaica? I'm from Clarendon in Jamaica. Where is that? Um, up in the hills, like when you go like Yorton, Linstead. Yes. Okay. Yeah, St. Catherine, Clarendon. And yeah. you've also been here a long time? Uh, yes. All the Jamaicans I'm meeting have been here for like decades. And I just came back from Jamaica yesterday. Oh, yesterday? Yeah. <laughs> I was in Mobe two weeks ago. Oh, okay. That's good. You had a good time, innit? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. oh you saw? You yeah. saw? Yeah. You're, you're, too, you're too kind. You're too kind. I mean, I gotta, I gotta thank Alice. Alice! <laughs> yeah. yeah. Stew chicken. Fried plantain, as you can see. See. plantain. And this is curry goat. That's curry goat? Curry goat. You mean goat curry? Curry goat. <laughs> Real goat. <laughs> that curry smells potent. So good. The spice is just popping. Real Jamaican spice. It's going to be good. I, I just ordered this, so I'm going to try it right now. Jerk fish. Yes. Yeah. With okra and pumpkin. Unfortunately, there's no crowds up here in London. Hey, thank you so much. You're the best. Thank you. Thank you so much. Right. Pleasure. Let's take this food outside. Thank you so much. So she's from St. Kitts and Nevis, huh? That's another one we have to go to, St. Kitts and Nevis. It is. Oh, we just entered it. Oh, the ice box. Bloody winter. That was good fun. Let's see. We walked in the refrigerator. Yeah, yeah, we stayed in the heat. They, they were like, oh, we're chilling. What am I eating here? Dude, how do I even eat this? What is that? What is that, David? It's called Clingston yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the, king, the king of curries. All right, so we're walking over to this park to try this curry goat. <laughs> and, uh, oh, what? Somebody's vlogging over here. What are they doing over here? If you would have asked me one month ago, would I be in London in the middle of freaking winter trying Caribbean food on the streets? I would say I don't think that would happen. Not even open this. That. It's on fire, guys. Plantain's really good. No, but this is and good. Knife and fork, bro. I'm going it's at pool. the bottom of the. No, man. <laughs> I was going full, full rust mode. <laughs> now it's so far, tender. Ooh. <laughs> See, go, tender. go. It's on fire. <laughs> so funny with the ear here. We have to suck as well, like a Jamaica. Yay! <laughs> Is that what you want me to do? It's my favorite spot. No, it's like Jamaica. Nostalgia here. So you could be in Jamaican, come here and fit right in. I mean, the only thing is you have no sun. That lady is so nice. She gave me a festival. Sweet dough. The festival in your mouth, bro. The KFC in London versus the KFC in Kingston. Where's the KFC in Mumbai? Should we do it? It's live, bro. That's my first memory of going to Jamaica. I remember going to the flipping like Montego Bay KFC, and they're like, "You want rice and peas?" I was like, "What are you talking about, bro?" And I was like, "Bro, this thing's live." I remember coming back and I was broken. 
I went to KFC in England. I was like, what is this trash, bro? No, I don't want to join from your house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How is he arguing? Why are you yeah, holding yeah. the microphone? What the hell, bro? They're arguing on the mic. They're like, ah, that's wrong. You're lying. It's like, that's wrong in the Quran. The only problem we have now is the sun's going away really, really fast. It's already 5 and not even 5, it's 4.30 and it's, it's bloody dark. It's dark, bro. Yeah, it's dark. This is officially like, yeah, nighttime. Oh, that's Brixton. That was awesome. Great day, but damn. I survived the jet lag, the cold, no sleep. <sighs> what I do for you guys? What I do for the audience? Lose your hand for the audience. That's right. That was the ultimate Caribbean food tour in Brixton, London, in the Caribbean capital of Europe.